Okay, so here we have a 1959 Fender Precision P bass. Uh, got a lot of wear on this one. This is actually my bass for a while. I'm still not 100% convinced that I would like to sell it, but I suppose if somebody does buy it, then it would be yours. Uh, this one's got a lot going on with it. Uh, I gave it a seven out of 10. Um, it's got some replaced stuff on it. Uh, I'm pretty positive the frets are replaced on it. Uh, the nut has been replaced. Uh, the pots and the capacitor have been replaced. Uh, pickups are original. Um, hardware does look original on it. As far as the wear on it, um, it's pretty obvious that you can see that the finish has been sanded down to natural on it. Oh, I should add the strap button pegs have been replaced on it also, but that's really not a concern with everything else that's going on with it. Um, okay, so yeah, the finish has been stripped down to natural. It's got some extra kind of holes drilled in for uh, thumb rests and things like that. Um, it's also had a pretty significant headstock crack going down the center of the headstock that has been repaired on it. Um, it's not the cleanest repair, but like I said, I've had this thing for probably over a year now and it's very, very solid. I've played shows with it, I've, you know, pl I've played it a lot. Um, Let's see what else has been done on this one. The, the, there are just lots of scratches and dings and wear in the back. But like I said, the biggest thing is the headstock repair on it and then the fact that it's been stripped down to natural. Um, this bass is, is, plays incredible though. I just have a number of pre-CBS jazz basses and, and um, I'm making room. So this one's going on the chopping block reluctantly. Uh, let's, let's get in there and check it out. Okay, so right off the bat, you can just see, I mean, I'll kind of go over it, but yeah, the, like I said, the finish has been stripped down to natural. The uh, pots and capacitors have been, or capacitor, one capacitor has been replaced on it. And you can just see there's like extra little holes kind of all around in this area. There's our maple fingerboard on this one. There is a little bit of wear on the frets, but I mean, it's not bad. You can kind of see it in there. Front of the headstock, okay, this is what we were talking about, the front of the headstock. We've got our, uh, you can see where it was split down the middle. And if you're looking at the listing, we've got good pictures of it. And then you can see where they repaired it. They did, they put dials in to go through there. That helped it out. Uh, like I said, it's not the prettiest headstock repair, but it's definitely solid. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this one over. You can see the uh, crack, it kind of extends through there and then it goes through there. If you're looking at the listing, uh, you can see we've got uh, we've got pictures of it where you can see that chunk right there was kind of came off and then put it back. Uh, it's super solid though. And back of the neck. Wear on the back. You see all sorts of wear going on in this area. Little kind of extra holes. <laughs> Definitely uh, what we would absolutely call a player's base for sure. And then you can see this is one of the strap buttons that was placed. And I, not, I'm not even gonna say that's original. It's probably not the strap button, but just all around wear in general. There's our neck plate, the serial number there. 
Okay, well there we have it on that one. That's uh, my 1959 Fender Precision Bass.